What is up guys, basic program here for another video. I'm still deciding whether I should do gaming or programming with this channel, but until I decide, I thought I would start my next program series. Which this should be a doozy and it should take a long time. Probably about a month or two. So this is how to make an operating system. Now I already have some of it made, but I didn't want to make a video until now, which is when I decided to start YouTube again, since school's over. So I'm just gonna run you through what I've done uh so you can get to where I am right now. Okay, so let's start with form one. You want to create a new form, and I just left it named as form one. So we're going to go to form one design. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, yeah, let me play what it looks like. This is what you will get in this first part of the series. You can see you get a loading screen, your mouse is loading, you can't click anything. You can see it covers the whole screen, even the taskbar. Um, so it looks like it's a complete operating system, but it's just an application. So you can log in. I just have space for a login. And then you get all these. You have settings, an internet browser, and this is a hack for my school. So this is what I'm giving it out to, and a notepad. <coughs> and you will have to go watch somebody else's tutorial for one part of this if you want to get to where I am. It's not necessary, but if you really need to, then you can do that. So let's get out of this. I know my mouse is going off the screen here, but I have a little thing, a little task board down here. So, that's basically what it does. So to get this screen, first of all, when you make your form, which is this blue thing in the back, you want to set start position to manual right here. And you want to set window state to maximize. And then you want to go and set form border style to none. And that will get your whatever image you want background. If you wanted a solid color, you know how to change that. I'm assuming that you know how to do that. So the next part is putting on your text. You can make your own text or you can just use the label button in Visual Basic, which is right here, to make your own text and you have to center that text so if we go in my code here you'll see there's a page you can see where is it? this is what you do image one this is my label it's actually an image image one dot location equals new point and then this would be the point this is the x coordinate where the comma is all the way up to the comma this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate let me explain what I'm doing here C int you always need C int so that you can turn it into an integer even if it already is going to be an integer so me is always the form that you're currently on so I'm on form 1 if I move to form 4 me would be form 4 in the code I say me dot width which is a screen width makes sense divided by 2 that's where it's putting the x it's taking the screen, it's dividing it by two, and then you're putting it there. But if you did that, then see where my arrow is? My text would be here, but then to the right of that. It wouldn't be centered. So then you just subtract uh, the image, or the text, dot width, divided by two. And you divide it by two because you only want half the width subtracted so that you can get it centered. That's the X and the Y you can put wherever you want, so I really don't care about that. And you just do the same thing for the loading symbol. You just play around with it, see where you can get it. You can copy this code here. You can see it's just all up here in Form 1. And you just double click on Form 1 to get there. So that's how you make the loading screen. What you actually want to do though is you want to add two timers to your screen, and all you got to do there is double click on the timer twice so it would be four times right here and then on timer one you want to enable it then set the interval to 2500 or whatever you want and on timer two you set it to 5000 and false because that's not going to be running right away and then in the code you double click on timer one and then there you say timer one dot stop which it'll stop it after the amount of time that you put in which is 1500 milliseconds or whatever however it does it 
uh, image2.show. What that is, is that's the loading symbol. If you saw when I played it, how the green thing doesn't show up until after you run the program for a little bit, that's because it's showing it after the 1500. Then timer2.start. Then you double click on timer2 down here. Then you click timer2.stop, form2.show, and me.close. This will close the form and this will open the second page, which means this case is the login screen. Not really. What this page is, is so you get like an effect that it's trying to load it. So we'll go to form 2. All this is, is it's just a blank screen with the exact same settings as your background screen in the last form. And all you want to put is, you add a timer to it, and set that, I think it's only like 500, 1300 milliseconds, and you obviously want to enable it. Enable true. And then you say timer 1.stop form 3 dot show and me dot close so what that does is when when it's done loading it kind of switches to that screen for a second and then it goes over to form 3 so it acts like it's loading because it really doesn't need to be loaded that's just an effect but I like the effect so this is form 3 you can design it the way you want um, by putting a background but now keep in mind guys the rest of the tutorials won't be like this. I'll actually be coding in the rest of the tutorials. I'm just showing you where I am and how you do it. Because this took a long time to do to get right. So you're going to do the same thing with the image location to this little rectangle. You're going to set it to center, and then you're going to set this image divided by 2 for x so that you can get it centered. Registration, you can put you can put these words wherever you want. Okay, and then you could center them to the screen somehow, however way you want it. The X, all that is, is a button, and it's me dot close. That just closes out the form, which sends you home. And the login button, you have to name the, you have to know the name of these. I named it text box one and text box two. So on the login, you say if text box one dot text equals space. And textbox.2, the text equals space, or that would be your username password. Then form4.show me.close, else you can make a message box that says wrong username password, and it clears the password like it does on a normal thing. So that's pretty self explanatory. So it takes you to form4. And form4, as we saw, this is the confusing form. This is the actual home screen. Once again, the background is the same as every other background. It probably will be for the rest of these tutorials anytime I make a new thing. Settings, we'll be doing in the next tutorial. I didn't even start that yet. In Implex Browser. This is a tutorial from somebody else. I will try to put his link in the description. Just look up how to make a web browser in visualbasic.net. It's the... it's it's called advanced web browser. It really is advanced. I will be making some editing changes to it. I already talked to the guy and he said it was okay um, to keep it here. So I'm not going to steal his tutorial from him. You guys can go watch those videos. It's about two hours long for the whole thing. There's ten parts to it, but it's really worth it. You saw it when I did the preview and it's a really awesome browser with some awesome features. Finals is nothing you need to be concerned about. And Notepad we will be programming in the next video. But now that you're basically caught up to where I am, I'm going to just show you guys. So these are just images. Images, and then when you double click on them, it opens a form. This taskbar down here is simply a taskbar. I'm hoping you guys know a little bit about this, so I'm not doing the whole thing myself. Like, so that you're not. This isn't a tutorial to teach, this is a tutorial to show you how to make an operating system. Um. And what I like about this is you don't have to boot it. I know I tried to make an operating system with assembly before and it didn't work out because I couldn't boot it. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I didn't want to delete windows. There's too many worries. This is just an application. So I'm going to run it one more time for you guys and that'll be it for this video. And next time we will start programming the notepad application and maybe the settings to change the background. But I have to figure out how to do that first and then we will do it. So you see the loading thing and then it loads this in space and space of my password and you can change that you just click log in and then you have settings you click on that that's a simple you just double click on that and then you say 
uh, whatever this this tab here I call it settings dot form or whatever you just say settings dot show and then when you click the X that's automatic but we'll program all these um, the internet browser, this is the cool part, this is from his tutorial, let me just give you a rundown of it. So what you can do is you can make bookmarks, and no, none of this comes with the browser. The browser comes in automatically, yes, but you have to make the tabs, so you can say file, new tab, you can go back, you can change your URL, the back button, the forward button you have to make, reload, you can switch browsers here. Downloads is automatic in the system. Change your volume. There's a date. Um, there's the advanced options where you can set your home page or if you want it to open a blank page. Uh, you can remember history or not. Email, you can send email. Network, you can see your network. See, there's my history. I can clear all. Exit. I can go to one of these bookmarks. You can see it's loading. I have slow internet, guys. It's it's. I'm recording, and there you go. So yeah, it's a really cool web browser. Uh, that's freaky. Good. So yeah, it's really cool. It's really worth it. But now you're basically caught to where I am. If you don't want an internet browser, I'll show you what you can do next time, so that you don't have to watch a two-hour long tutorial. But I really do think it's worth it if you're trying to do this for real. So. Let's do that right now because we still have like four minutes. So let's exit the program. Stop debugging. All you really have to do is if you created a new form, uh, we'll just call this form five, I guess, and you just selected internet, you click web browser right here. And then you just click right there. It's as simple as that. And then if I just really quickly, oh man, I'm sorry. You can hear the wind and not me. And then if I just go on to form four, and I just copy and paste this. Come on. I double click on it. And then I just say form five dot show. And then I'm gonna save that run it, I shouldn't have saved it, I'm going to delete it but this should get you a browser so you really don't want to do all those long tutorials, you don't have to or if you just don't want to hold it off till later but you still want to have the internet this is your simple solution I think you click on this, you can see it opens up this and maybe it'll load Google maybe not could be because my Internet's so slow. I don't know why. Maybe you should follow his tutorial, guys. I don't know why that's not loading. Hold on. Let me, let me look at it for just a second. So, guys, after looking for it uh, for a little bit, I think that it's just because my internet is slow. Um, this should work for you guys. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, and I will fix it so that you can have at least a quick internet browser if you don't want to watch those tutorials. But yeah, right now you're caught up. I really hope you guys get caught up. Uh, you could just copy my code if you want to. Uh, it was on the screen at all times during the video. So that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. I will try to make a new video out for tomorrow, but if not, it'll be like every other day. Um, I still haven't decided what I want my channel to be, but I really do like programming. I really do like this operating system. I, I feel like it can be something. So, sorry about the mower. I have to like scream here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.